All right, we got to talk about bone pins. I'm going to make a new comp. We'll use a shape layer. And we'll make it a rectangle. OK, so we're going to use the puppet pin tool for this. I'm going to start simple. So I'm going to make three dots. Now, before we do this, you should know when you're using the Puppet Pin tool, the way it's set up currently, it's not user friendly. So your pin, your keyframes are going to be under these three things, it's really buried in. So that's why using Duic Angela is a lot easier. You see how you can make keyframes like that. And you can see this is definitely where the keyframes are going to start. So if I move this again, it's made a, it's made an animation already. You don't want that. So what you actually want to do is highlight all of them holding the shift key, then go to links and constraints and then add pins. And now this would actually add uh, pins to all of those puppet pin tools. So yeah, well, you don't have to worry about figuring out where the hell the pins. See, now you can animate this straight from its own independent part. And this is actually how you would do like bendy types of uh, animations. Now you'll notice that this thing doesn't curl very well. So the more pins you have, the better. And you can like link it to bones and things like that too. When if like if you need to make a tail or hand or arm or something like that, fingers. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you use the bone pin tool.